Alright, so I'm gonna do something that's completely different. That's something I know I can deliver after several redundant anti statism topics, and I still have a little more. I'm gonna chug a few more, churn out a few more, but that's not what I'm gonna do right now. Right now, I'm gonna talk about you, Hawk Show. As you might know, my blue balls are turning to a pinkish purplish shade right now and it's swollen up kinda like those balloons right there it's like different colors and inflated and heart shaped it's all scrunched up and that color basically in the background describes it all it's all inflated that's why I'm not showing you my face cause I'm in horrible pain alright so I think that there are three phases of Yu Yu Hakusho. For all of you know, who don't know, Yu Yu Hakusho is a 112 episode anime that's shonen, or a 173 chapter manga. Although my numbers could be imprecise for mangas. So, some things I want to talk about is the manga slash anime interval. Now, for the first phase of Yu Yu Hakusho, I think this is where Yu Yu Hakusho was innocent. And this was when Yusuke in the beginning died, and he spent a few episodes in the anime, just five, trying to get his body back. Yet in the manga, this was more complicated. This was 17 chapters, and it's very plot oriented, and there's. It's more about Yusuke and Keiko and their relationship which is important because it's their relationship that which brings him back to hu human world and you gotta remember this because I'm putting spoilers from the beginning there's be very crazy spoilers at the end of the storyline when Yusuke is busy in demon world it's Keiko's love for him that brings Yusuke back. So, Keiko's love brought Yusuke back from the dead and inevitably spirit world and from his little ambitions in demon world. The manga explores this a lot more. There's more characters in the manga and more depth. While in the anime, it's just five little comic relief episodes, which I I think they were going with something good, but you should try out the manga to fill in those gaps, because a lot of people don't know, but the manga is, has more content in it. And another important thing to mention is that is that the uh, there's no demon world in the first almost innocent phase. Now the second phase which is basically from Yusuke being assigned as spirit detective and having the three demon world items having to be retrieved or getting them away from the three little criminals in the beginning all the way through the dark tournament arc this is the point where Yu Yu Hakusho becomes a shonen. And a lot of themes include for the first arc that not that all criminals have different motives and it's not black and white. For the second one, which is where Yusuke and Kuwabara try to get that win the tournament and get rid of this rogue demon who's gonna try and kill Genkai after getting some skills from Genkai and central theme is bitter work kung fu kinda cheesy for Saint Beast's arc this is where the Kurama and Hige make their appearance again and this time as allies active fighting allies it has to do with 
a demon world con uh uh what the hell cult why did I say cunt instead of cult <laughs> I have issues they're trying to essentially start a movement to gain more dominance and be less oppressed from the spirit world and it has a very don't drink the kool-aid thing because the zombie demon this stuff the vegetable men they could be considered culty followers then you have the tr think Trugane's compound or his castle thing and that story arc it's that not all humans are bad since this time it's a demon that's being kidnapped by a greedy human that's trying to make a lot of profit through her tears which are a good commodity it proves that not all humans are bad because this time the he ate, I mean Kurama and he ate take a back seat they're not completely gone but they take a back seat from the fighting aspect it's really Yusuke and Kubara who are who's really doing the fighting and the heroics and last you have the dark tournament which again shows that not all demons are bad but that's also San in the Saint Beast arc, so it's relativism at this point. This is the second phase, and really the theme has become less complicated. And that's the thing. We reached the third phase after the longest story arc of the series, which is the Dark Tournament, which had three different anime endings. That's how long it happened to be. Now we're at the story arc known as Chapter Black. And Chapter Black's kind of like a post World War II story arc. Gets in depth about the grotesque actions of humanity, and we see Sensui who takes on this multiple personality caricature of being a misanthropy. He's an essential misanthropy in the story arc. A lot of it has to do with more social or national issues. And now some groups happen to be oppressed. And that this huge overbearing group has done horrible things and it's a pretty cool thing and then you got the Three Kings arc which again symbolizes the Cold War. Yusuke is dead. Yomi and Mikuro are like the United States, China and Russia. Or United States, Russia, and China. And that's kind of like what I pick up because they're three really top of the barrel, best of the best people that can't face each other because the complications could mean the end of the world. And so there has to be like a s supplementary means for one to obtain victory. And of course, the writers are pushing at the solution to this democracy, and I'm not going to debunk that, but that's the result. And it's not like a desired democracy that people are having right now, it's kind of the opposite. It's more of the same. Uh, regardless, there's more maturity in this the third phase it's not that simplistic little love story love exists after death and it's not the second phase which is not all blah 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 are bad not and the same goes for the opposite not all blah 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 are bad either 
takes more maturity. That's why I think that Yu Yu Hakusho must have ended because Shiro Takashi was getting sick all the time. He's still really, really sick. And he was getting bored of series. And then you come to find that Hunter x Hunter, which was his next installment after level E, was surprisingly mature. Even though it seemed more childish looking at the front, because we have Gon, Karapika, Killua, and. What's his name? That doesn't matter. So, what am I getting at here? Three phases of maturity of Yu Hawk Show. Show how in depth this series can get. In Dragon Ball Z, you see like a gradual decrease in maturity, and it becomes more quantitative. And with series like Naruto, which I okay with um becomes more convoluted. But you see in New York show there's this rise in maturity and that's one of the things why I think Yu Hawk show gets better over time. I mean as you progress through the series, it isn't that story was for like the first sixty Five, sixty-eight episodes where everything's a happy ending. For Chapter Black and Three Kings, not everything goes under Yusuke's desires. He loses the tournament. Uh, chapter Black he kind of changes a lot. He changes a lot in these story arcs, and a lot of characters die. It's not like Bleach where none of the characters get killed off of this series. There's deaths. There's... I think the death of Ryzen was very powerful too. And it really made the series, I think, probably one of the best shonen animes of the 90s. Although this is debatable. What can I say in the last two minutes of this video, or even three minutes, since the three, 15 minute rule is kind of, eh. Well, I gotta say one thing. I don't think that they should make more episodes of old 90s Nickelodeon shows, because there's no profit from that. They're just going to be ruined. The hipsters are going to be either angry or they're going to be like, Oh, my childhood's back. Oh, joy. I miss my childhood. And fuck their childhood. I think Viacom should opt out of their contract with Nickelodeon and try and get Cartoon Network. Tell Cartoon Network to get rid of some shitty shows. A lot of their new shows are actually kind of good. But they'll get rid of those shitty live action shows. Destroy, build, destroy, and do what would happen. And bring back Toonami. I didn't say bring back anime, bring back Toonami. Have like a good afternoon run and midnight run. Once a week. I want to see Tenchi Muyo, Ruroni Kenshin. Yu Yu Hakusho, and probably one more. But at that point, I'd be entertained. That's what I think. That's what I believe needs to happen. Oh, and Neon Evangelion Genesis. Alright, so I got a few seconds. I really think that I should go to the hospital right now. <laughs> Whatevs, whatevs.